Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another video response for the Jarred Up January collaboration. Now the channels that are doing Jarred Up January are Sutton's Days, Paul's Rule of Thumb, More to Life, The Pantry Loving Prepper, Angie's Pantry, Wilhelm's Kitchen, and The Needy Homesteader. Today I'm going to be canning up black eyed peas and I'm going to be using the no soak method. Let's see what we need for this project. I'm going to be using this bag of black eyed peas. I am doing the no soak method so I'm yet to wash these. I'll bring you along while I do that. I am canning these black eyed peas in half pint jars. The reason I want to can them in half pint jars is because this is the sort of bean that I just want a single serving for. The half pint jar works for me. Because I'm doing half pint jars, I will need a quarter cup of dry beans. I'm going to be using an eighth a teaspoon of pink salt. Okay, here's my pink salt. I have my jar lifter. I have my debubbler. I have my lid lifter, my canning funnel. I have vinegar to wipe the rims with. Here I have six varieties of half pint jars. We've got our quilted crystal. We have the old variety of Bernardin jar. It's a little taller and it's quite textured on the outside. I can't remember if this was a Golden Harvest or a Bernardin Half Pint. This is an interesting one. This Half Pint jar is, I don't know who makes it, but what it says on it, it says Discovery. I have another one of these jars, I think, in a pint size. I have a Kerr. And I have a regular ball Half Pint jar. I have my lids and ring bands soaking in previously boiled water. This works for me. This is how I do it. I'm using the Bernardin lids. I've done all my safety checks and that canning pot is heating up slowly. So I'm ready to start filling up my jars with the black eyed peas. Like I said before, I'm using the no soak method. Now, what I didn't mention was this method is not an approved method. So before you do the no soak method, do your research. No soak method works for me and I will continue to do it this way. I like the results, plain and simple. So one fourth a cup of dry beans for a half pint. I'm choosing to use one eighth a teaspoon of salt. I'm now going to pour in water that I've just finished boiling. Time to debubble. I'm gonna wipe my rims with vinegar. Screw it on finger tight. And I'm going to place this into the canning pot. Let's pour the water in. Debubble. Wipe the rim. Place the lid and ring band on. I'm going to place this in the pot. Let's do another one here.
Give it a stir with the debubbler. Wipe the rim. Finger tight into the canning pot. So I'll bring you back when I have my canning pot full up with these half pint jars of black eyed peas. I'm putting the lid on my canning pot and I'm gonna turn up the element a bit, okay? I'll bring you back when I have a steady stream coming out of the vent pipe. So there's a steady stream from the vent pipe now. I'm gonna turn on the timer for 10 minutes and let it vent. The 10 minutes of venting are now up. I'm going to put the pressure regulator on the vent pipe and I'll bring you back when we've reached 11 pounds pressure. Okay, as you see, it's now reached 11 pounds pressure. I'm now going to turn the timer on and process these black eyed peas for 75 minutes. The black eyed peas have been processing for 75 minutes. I'm now going to turn off the element and let the pressure come down. I'll bring you back when I'm opening up the pot. Okay, so as you can see, the pressure has come down and the air vent cover lock has dropped. We're gonna take the pressure regulator off and open up this canning pot. There. There. That's what I want to hear. I'm going to finish taking these out of the pot and I'll bring you back when they're all on the counter. So the jars are out of the pot. Looking at them, I think I could have used more beans, but the directions are one fourth a cup per half pint jar, so I would rather be safe than sorry. Again, if you want to do the no soak method when canning beans, please do your research because it is not an approved method. However, with that said, this method works for me. Here's a close up of the black eyed peas. information below, I have put a link to each of the channels that is doing the Jarred Up January collaboration. Be sure to check those channels out.